All right, y'all. Obviously, in this clip, uh, it was put in slow mo and it was not meant to be. This was gonna be in my main intro clip, telling y'all what I was doing. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I was saying, but all I can say is that I was probably telling y'all that I was going to pick up my reload for Monday, and I got me a load, and I was super excited. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, this kind of ruined my video, the first part of my video, but it'll get better, I promise. So I'm going to cut this clip here. Sorry, guys, for the inconvenience. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into today. Let's get into the day. Have a good day. Every day you wake up, it's a new day. Ready to get this pay. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Today's gonna be a great day, guys. We're gonna wake up, get this cake up. <laughs> Alright, we're about to get on down the road. We are picking up a load today that is going to Cali. I'm going to be the first driver um, with Art that has gone to Cali in years, I guess. I was told this morning from Jason. So, it's all the way north of San Francisco, it's deep up in Cali, so it's gonna be, gonna be interesting, there's a lot of winter weather out there, uh, you already know me, I'm the, the snow, the blizzard slayer, <laughs> I can't. So we showed up at our pickup in Hackett, Arkansas. It's a stone quarry. Uh, it's the load I'm picking up going to California. Just showed up at 11.30. Nobody's here, but I called them on the phone. They said that they're at lunch break. So they had their lunch break at 11, probably. It's kind of early. But so now we're just here waiting. He said it'll be like 20 minutes. Sit and wait, sit and wait. They got a little donkey tied up around a tree out here. There's some country bumpskin shit right here. I wanna go and pet it, but I don't wanna get shot. <laughs> I checked in we're getting loaded on the scales right now this is a new one this seems very smart I like this but I am very low on fuel so I might still be overweight <laughs> I should have wait I should have fueled before I got before I came here that would have been the responsible thing to do but there was just so much going on this morning so I'm very low on fuel I know I'm not supposed to be low on fuel don't yell at me I'm sorry but yeah we're getting loaded right now that big old load of baby put them stones on there. So I think I'll still get my fuel. I'll okay, be fine. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Five seventy-seven five. Still kind of, still kind of close, but oh well. Well, Ziki, we made some good timing today. It stopped raining. We got loaded. I timed this right today, boy. It stopped raining. I'm about to be strapping my load dry, but my boots are gonna get disgusting, like my floor. But anyways, I'm about to get out of my truck. You heard the man, he told me to get out, start strapping. That's what we're gonna do. We get in loaded today, we get in loaded today. <laughs> Alright, this is the load right here. I think my 
the weight it said was 77.5 when I got off the scale, but I still got to get my fuel. So, man, I fucking hate when they got... Sorry for cussing. Dang. Sorry, I can't help it. Damn, this, like, thing is all bent and stuff. I hate when they got the wood hanging off the side of the trailer, though. That stuff bothers me. And I just touched it with my bare hands. Yeah, I got my nails redid. What? <laughs> Uh, okay, anyways, got a mixture of stuff. Just a stone load, plain old stone load. Oh, I'm gonna put my hoodie on. So yeah, this is what we're looking like. Easy securement right here. A lot of guys that you guys say stuff about using change on this stuff. A lot of these places don't let you use chains at straps only. Just, just letting you know, just a heads up and why not just me but some people do things sometimes because you're not allowed to use it it's not always our choice but Ooh, it's cold but it is still drizzling actually i got too excited my luck changed All right, just to update to let y'all know, we made it to the Loves and Alma. We did our fuel stop here. I got a full tank of diesel, full tank of DEF. We made it safely. I almost, we were like this close to running out of fuel, you guys. But uh, we're about to get on down the road now. It is still raining, still some bad weather. There is some winter weather that we're gonna be running into. I cleaned my floor a little bit because the dogs like to lay on the floor but i'm gonna have to get some i cleaned it with the windex but there's still dirt it's still showing dirt on the floor so i'm gonna have to get my actual cleaner out and wipe it but uh we're gonna get back on the road now since we're all fueled up Whew, i was getting kind of close on that one that was the the butt butt clench and uh low fuel level right there all right y'all we just pulled over right before the the Texas state line. <laughs> you looking at Benji? What? Benji, you're freaking me out looking at my shadow over there. Uh, so, anyways, we just stopped before the state line of Texas because it's snowing and it's like 60 mile per hour winds. My truck has been rocking back and forth like a boat. Huh, Benji? Huh, Benji? So, we are gonna try again in the morning. I can get up at 6 after my break and make our way on down to Cali. And I have a gift from a fellow subscriber tomorrow that I'm gonna open in the daylight so y'all can see. But for right now, we'll see y'all in the morning. Peace. Good morning, y'all. Uh, I woke up about an hour ago, maybe. I was, I was in and out of sleep. I just kept laying back down because I was checking the, the weather advisories and stuff and my truck was rocking back and forth like a boat. There was 60 mile per hour winds last night, so that's why I stopped there in uh, Oklahoma. But I just took off this morning. I've been driving for maybe an hour. Um, it's still, still pretty windy. I can only go like 60 something without flying into the other lane. But I'm just gonna keep it safe, keep rolling until I can. It looks like a little past Amarillo, like in Tucum Carry. Their roads closed. So, just a big red line, and it looks like it's pretty crazy in New Mexico. So I'm not sure how far I'm even going to be able to get today. If there's, if the road closure is still there, I was trying to check it out online. I, I can't really figure out. Can't find any good information. So I'm just rolling for now. But New Mexico looks pretty dangerous. I can't say that. Look, don't look too pretty in New Mexico right now. But yeah, we're big, big rolling right now. I'll give y'all an update in a little, a little later.
What's up, y'all? We just stopped. I'm about to let the dogs out real quick so they can get in some snow, play around real quick. Real quick. We are right outside of Albuquerque. It's been hectic with all this wind. It's been a slow drive, but um, we're getting there. But I'm going to stop, let them eat some snow real quick. <laughs> my allergies are driving me nuts. I had to go grab my Vicks. My lips are chapped, dry as hell. But we're still kicking. We're still kicking. <laughs> down the road we are just before Albuquerque so we're about to be going through the mountains now shouldn't be too icy the roads look kind of dry I don't know though I did see a jackknife truck on eastbound side on dry roads so there is some ice um, going through 40 still hopefully it just doesn't get too bad huh Benji hopefully it don't get too bad huh baby boy check-ins but I just stopped and fueled at the Lake Havasu City Arizona loves <sighs> trying to rush clean my windows and everything trying to get out of here trying to get in Cali this trip feels like it's taking forever um, but yeah we are gonna get back on the road now me Zeke and Benji trying to trying to stay on the road but Oh, this person just like prayed before they took before they take off on their truck. Um, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. But we are getting back on the road now. I had to stop and fuel before we got into California because y'all already know it is more expensive for diesel in California. So, and this is the last love stop before them. So you already know that. It's gonna be busy here. Okay, I don't know what this dude was doing, but. But yeah, we're, we're getting back on the road. We're about to enter California. Finally, about time, entering that 55 mile per hour zone. For all y'all in uh, different countries, if y'all didn't know, California is the only state America that makes trucks go 55 miles an hour. That's the speed limit for trucks. And about 3% actually follow that rule. Uh, <laughs> but, yep. Look at this night piece, boy. This nice peak. Alright. Over and out. 59er, 10er, 9er, over and out. What's up y'all? We finally made it to Barstow, California. This is not our final destination, but it is a stop. I'm like about to be in the middle of a sandstorm right now, a dust storm. Got high winds again, 55 mile per hour wind gust. 
right outside of the Loves and Barstow and the Little Sisters truck wash. I wanted to go here and get my truck washed, but uh, there's, a, there's a line and this place takes a while and we're on a tight schedule. So I'm walking over here to this Mexican restaurant they got over here. I think it's called like Maria's or something. Gonna get me a plate. Check out the little big rig t-shirt store they got in here and then head on back down the road. I got about three more hours on my clock. So I'm gonna get rolling. I'm gonna be rolling over to Hatchapi. Nothing but mountains today, baby. Mountains and desert. This is some crazy wind right here. Ooh, look at that truck. Look at that truck. I just met David with Mercer Transport. He said hi. He caught me at the Mexican joint here in Barstow. Just paid $20 for my torta and fries. <laughs> uh, just waiting now. I might go use the restroom. But this is the place, Maria's Mexican restaurant. Just got a torta, a nice little asada torta. Gonna be grubbing. All right, y'all, we're, oh, <clears throat> we're done here. I got full really fast. I ate about half the Sammy. Half the sandwich. I'm about to go head over to this t-shirt shop over here, see if they're open. Check out what big rig clothing they got. I hope they're not closed. There's a sign on the door, it looks like. <laughs> It says door locked. Please use door on the other side. Gosh darn it. Y'all trying to make me burn off the calories I just consumed already? <clears throat> Good at Peter Bill. Oh. Hi. Hi. This is the strapper. This is the hoodie I wanted. I wonder how much it is. I have all these shirts though. So. You guys are too much. Did you see the little sister ones? No. <laughs> these ones are here. <clears throat> how much are these hoodies? Big. 80 plus tax. 80? What about the little sisters one? 42? Aren't they usually, I thought they were usually 60. They are. You're right. Oh, right there. I don't know, but that's wrong. Is it in front of you? What's that saying right there? This one's for the little sisters. Uh, okay. Look. Oh. <clears throat> it's taped on the door. It's $60. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my. There's no way. <laughs> $80. You better be a Nike makers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should I get blue or black, guys? I don't know. 
All right, y'all. I'm getting these two hoodies. Hi, honey. There is a young lady in here who would like to get her headache wrap polished. Do you have time to squeeze them? All you can do it tonight. I can come back. I can almost see no trucks. Yeah. Uh, and they're getting $400 polished each. And I think, I don't know if that's the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. They already done did, uh, that's their fourth one. And so that will be all the rims, and they usually leave by five. Oh, yeah. What time is it? Four. Holy crap. After four. It feels like it's little too late. I thought it was like 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry about the that door's locked. Oh. I don't want you to. I know I can. All right. Woo woo, sexy truck. Damn. This is my opportunity to get my headache rack polished, and I missed it. I got here too late. I've been wanting to get my my headache rack polished. Darn it. Just spent $145 on hoodies, on big strapping stuff, big strapper beanie, hoodie and a little sister's truck wash hoodie. I feel great, feeling good. <laughs> Spend all my money on food over the road and Trucker merchandise. That's how we do it over here. Apparently. All right, I'm just gonna walk back, you guys. I'm not gonna make y'all come with me on the, the walk back. I'm gonna burn some calories real quick. And I'll see y'all on down the road. Y'all, it's so windy in Cali right now. Ridiculous winds can barely get get up to 50 miles an hour right now we are on 58 west gonna be heading up to, to Hatchapi probably get there in a couple hours going uh, 40 miles an hour <laughs> this guy just turned his hazards on oh it's a chick She's probably scared. Scaredy cat. All right, I'm gonna speed up. Speed up. I wanna see. Uh, I wanna see y'all drop some comments in the comment section. I need to do a poll and see how many people actually do 55 in the state of California. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, but really though. <laughs> Y'all, uh, we just stopped at uh, Love's, parked for the night. I pulled in here and I seen in my mirror that one of my tarps flew out of my strap where I had it secured, right there. It came out from underneath my strap from the wind. Dude, look at that one's getting pushed back. That is absolutely insane. I almost lost one of my tarps. Oh my God, that's my other forfeit one. That's how strong the wind is here. I'm about to fix my tarp, put it back where it was. Obviously, for somebody just picks up and seals it. Uh, and then I'm gonna call it a night. I'll probably, I'm probably gonna end this video here because I bet you it's probably getting really long. Uh, so I'll holler at y'all at my delivery make a whole new video thanks everybody for tuning in love y'all peace and love and trucking <laughs> good night y'all Say I run it, run it, cause I'm in control Hitting out and couldn't see a couple shots of Patron I ain't feeling night, I get your eyes to pay Party pop and shot says she's coming with me tonight I ain't selling the linen, I ain't snapping and popping Either I'm bopping